Hey guys, what's going on? This is Aris back with another tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can make tables and add data to it. So let's start by making a table first. So you go to your annotate panel on the ribbon and there you get the ta table panel here. So I click on this table, which will bring that dollar box here. On the left, you got this table style. If you can make a new table style, you can choose the current one. You can modify them down here. You've got, if you want to link any data, you can do that as well. So for now, basically we're going to make a table. So I want to keep that three columns by six rows and then set cell styles to tiles, header and data. So the table is structure is basically based on title, header and data. So I click OK and now I select a, um, arbitrary base point, so insertion point basically. I click that now it's going to ask me type a title to it, type drawing limits, uh, drawing information. Now you can type your title, I will say room area dimension and then I click outside and then as you can see that our table has been done but it's too small we can't really see that the reason why we can't really see that because the default unit on set to this um, scaling factor so you need to increase that so what do you do according to this drawing according to my quarter uh, factor I have to scale it by 48 so I select that I've, select the base point closer to my table and I type 48 enter and our tables is done I'll just move that here all right so now let's talk about a bit more about tables all right, if I go here and I click on this arrow button I get this dialog box which takes me to table style well I've got only one table style for now but I want to make a new one. I click on new and I type a name. I'll give a name my table style. Okay, now you get this dialog box. So as, as I told you that the table is basically based on data, header and title. So you can choose, um, let's say if I choose title, all right? And then I can, in the general properties, I've got this fill color, I can, define a fill color to it I can align the text I want to align the text um, to maybe top left to show you guys but I don't really recommend that but you can type it you can specify a type as well you can specify margins from top to bottom in the in a cell so now let's go and go to your text okay so text if you click here, as you can see, you got only three text styles here. You can, if you want to make a new one, you want to change the text of it, you can click on this box, it will take you to the text style. So once you're in the text style, you can modify the current one. I'm going to just modify my current one and I'll change that to, let's say, Time New Roman. That's the most popular text style. I can specify font style, bold, bold italic, italic and regular. All right, so I can do up and down, backwards. There's a lot of common features you see here. So I apply and I click on set current and I close this. As you can see, if I wanna add it that to my header, I can do that as well. I have to go to header and then now I can go to general. I can apply the effects to it. Text, I'm gonna change. I've got three of them here. I can apply that same text style to the header as well I can change the text color let's say I want to change this to maybe green green looks great so all right so now I'll click OK and now I've got we got our text style now. and now I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna make it set current close and now if you can see now basically our select your table and then go here and then change that to my table so now you've got your text applied on your table very easy 
and very useful. Tables are basically used when you have to um, write any data about your, write any information about your drawing for the client. All right, so let's look at a few more features of the table. If you click on this and then you see that you are in a table cell panel now, it's a new panel, it's a temporary panel for just to modify this table. So what I can do with it, all right, if I click here, and as you can see that I've got this insert above, I'm in the row panel, so I can insert a row to it, I can delete those rows, I can insert below, delete them, insert columns left, or you can delete them. So, well, I'm gonna just type U, and I go back to my table. So whatever you're selecting, whatever the cell or panel, or, sorry, cell or any column or whatever row you select, that will work with that way. So if you select here, and now if you click on left, so it's gonna make a new column between these two columns. So just keep that in mind. You can merge those cells. Let's say I'll merge these two, click merge, and I can just merge row, I can just merge column, so I can, but now I'm gonna merge it all. So as you can see, I've merged all the cells here. <laughs> all right, so next what we got here, I've got this styling here, one more time, that's the same text styles. You can do that as well, you can edit borders. Well, well I'm just gonna make it a bit more thicker. So I've got these borders now around the, your table. I click outside as you can see that uh, we got the border applied so all right so you've got your cell locking you can lock the cell if you got big and bigger table now you got insert if you want to insert any block to it so you can do that as well you can add any fill to it so I've done the, uh, the previous videos um, in the past about these if you want to learn about these check them out as well so I can if you know the spreadsheet or Microsoft Excel or any spreadsheet program you know what this formula means so I can even I can even um, add these formulas to my cells or columns so let's say I'll add this to this column whoops I'll select this column I'm just gonna add the formula to it and to add them just now I've got a6 and c6 so what is a6 a6 here and then C6 here. So what I'm gonna do, I wanna just add that to A5 to A6. Type A. Five. Now I've got that formula here. So if I go back to my, this cell, I'll type five. Go back down, I've got six. And now if you go to this cell, as you can see, we got 11. So it actually, um, it applied the addition to these two cells. So, well, that's about it for the tables. Um, I'm gonna talk about um, some more features of the table in the next video. So make sure to check that out as well. You've got three alignment options here. If you select the whole column, you can align that to whatever his options there so check them out as well um all right guys thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next video i hope you like this video and if there is any question let me know i'll reply to your comments and i'll talk to you guys in the next video peace out